Hello, welcome to another vlog. Um, I had to come to Hove to do some decluttering. I decluttered my cupboards. So I've taken more summer clothes there and got some money back. So I'll show you what sandals I got for basically free for swapsies. Um, and I'm also looking around Hove because I know that I want to come back here one day. And I'm looking at this muse that a dear friend suggested to me other than my favourite block of flats with balconies where you can actually see the sea from. Um, these are houses, I think, probably too big. It's not much point moving to something that's the same size. Um, but that's my long-term plan, sadly, without the sea view. But that's one day, not now. Um, meanwhile, talking about not now, Jack's been very poorly again. I'll let you see him um, when I next record at home, or oh, if I do record at home, because I'm in near London. Well, not in London, Kent, very near London, um, from tomorrow onwards, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, filming Thursday. So hopefully I'll have lots to show you. Um, but yes, he's been very poorly. It's an entirely his fault and mine. Um, but he met, I wish I'd recorded it, um, he met, oh, the weather was awful, that's right, awful winds. He met a little male dachshund in the park Sunday evening, took a fancy to him. Some dogs are bisexual, Jack is. Took a fancy to this little 10-month-old dachshund and proceeded to chase him round and round and round the park. At which point I looked at Mary and said, my God, this could kill him. But we both agreed he was having such fun that I couldn't possibly drag him away. A bit like an 85 year old at a rave. He was having an absolute ball. Of course, the next day and that night, he was absolutely exhausted. And then by, what is that noise? And then by last night, he was shaking and his tail was down and he went lay in the garden and I thought, no, is this how you're going to die? You're just going to suddenly go and lie in the garden and go to sleep forever. Um, but he was in pain and I've got painkillers, proper syringy ones that the vet made me stock up on. So I know what to do. So I'm getting my exercise here and I hope he's at home sleeping. He only had a 10 minute walk and I will report back and tell you how he's doing. But um, he was wagging his tail an awful lot when the gardener came and wagging his tail an awful lot when the cleaner came. I sound like I have so many staff, but we're not talking about every week, we're talking about occasionally. Um, so yes, on with, I'll show you this muse that's rather nice, but it's very, very, look, you can see all the trees around. It's just very quiet and lovely. And the main road where all the shops and cafes are that I miss so much in Saltine, just round the corner and the beach. I'll show you, but I still prefer the block of flats. I'll show you that as well. This is not imminent. I'm not moving now. It will be well after Jack's gone and well after the pandemic, before I'm too old. See how lovely and quiet it is? And this is on a very busy day. So I like these little gardens. This is the sort of little garden I want one day. Minimum fuss. But I think these houses are quite big. I'll have a look online, nice front door. I'll probably come out and say, what are you doing? Look, look at that, it's gorgeous. See, you don't get that in a flat. So you just walk out of there. I'll speed this up. This is 4th Avenue in Hove. That means it's easy to walk into town. So the sea's down here. I'll keep it on close up. There's the sea, not far. And there's the main road coffee shops, chemists, restaurants, cafes. This is 
is my favourite location by far because it's so central. It really is central Hove. And I'm going to show you somewhere I found completely by accident when I came to see my favourite block of flats. Look at these gorgeous old cottages. This little corner, sorry about the winds. These are very old. I got chatting to a lovely lady in the front garden of one. And okay, it looks very dark, but can you see the corner? There's a little, absolutely separate, tiny cottage. Well, not tiny. Tiny compared to my present ridiculously large home for one person and a dog. Um, it's still two beds, but I, I just love. See, look at this quiet, tucked away, nice little tiny area. Look, with the little gate. Oh, this is where I met the lovely lady. And there we are. And that I could afford if it ever comes up for sale. But it looks a bit dark. And also, look, there are loads of houses which will be flats backing onto it. So one needs to see what it's like. Uh, well, it is the summer. One needs to come here at night and see how noisy it is. Okay, on to the next one. Okay, this is the other block I really like. It's called, well, it isn't called anything. It's number four Grand Avenue, but it's Art Deco. I'll see if I can peep through the front door. But fortunately, I just bumped into some people who live here. I do this all the time. And um, they're all like me. They're retired, not that I'm retired, but you know what I mean. Retirees age, quiet. They gave me all the load down. Very high maintenance charges. But then, you know, I want a lock up and leave pad. That's no responsibility, eventually. And they understood, they're of a certain age, you know, just want to lock up and leave. So this probably is number one on my list. Oh, look. Provided I can find the right place with a lovely view and a balcony. Can you see in there? No, you can't. So, some sea views as I walk quickly. This is my lovely friend Penny, my best friend in home. We've known each other for how long? About 25 years. No, I've only lived, thank you. Where's my coffee? Oh, we've only lived here 20 years. I've only lived here 22. 20 years, 20. 22. Yeah, I just moved, haven't I? You had just moved, yeah. Thank you, the coffee coming? Thank you. Look what I've ordered in our favourite local. Goat cheese salad. You have to shout because it's so noisy in here. I think they can hear it. How crowded is it in home? It's pretty full at the moment. It's because no one's going abroad and it's warm again. Anyway, this is Pen. You'll see more of her. That was exciting. Let's, lovely afternoon out, let's go and see how little Jack is doing. Apparently he howled like mad when Debbie, who does the cleaning occasionally, left. She said he was making a terrible racket, but that's because she spoils him. Listen, you can't even hear me coming up the stairs. Hello, Defe Den. Hello, my, oh look, waggy tail. That means he's much better. Have you had a lovely rest, darling? Have you had a lovely rest? Oh, good boy. Well, he's better. Some of you who've been following me for a while will know what he looks like when he's not well. The tail's down, he looks like he's an old. Oh, what a happy dog. All right, baby, I'm here. Good boy, come on then, come out, come out in the garden now. Having seen blocks of flats, I'm sure, and that view, I'm sure you're saying, why on earth would you want to move? Um, but I have to be honest, this is beautiful when the weather's like this. But anyone who knows England knows how rare it is 
Plus, as I, I was explaining to you, no, I didn't finish explaining to you because it was so windy on the beach. Um, part of the reason, let's turn it round now. Part of the reason that I'll sell eventually is obviously because this is four bedrooms, two bathrooms with a big garden. It's an awful lot of upkeep. It is very high maintenance. Um, and when things are normal, I go away to places like Byron Bay in Australia, anywhere warm for the winter, like all of us retirees. Not that I am retired, but, um, you know, that we all need to do come winter, those who live in the cooler climes. And the thing is with Saltdean, where I live, it's east of Brighton. So the other reason that I'm missing Hove so much, which is where I started off, is because it's west of Brighton. So to get there, I have to get through Brighton, which driving wise can be a complete mare. Bus-wise, it means two different buses. Meeting people in Brighton Centre is easy peasy. Absolutely going to the theatre, going to museums, all of that's lovely from here. But my friends don't live close. My very best, oldest friends do not live close. I can't ring anyone up and say, three for coffee, shall we meet in five minutes? It just doesn't happen here because I haven't got those sorts of friends here, sadly. They're all west of Brighton and, um, you know, Hove, Hove actually, West Hove, Portslade, Shoreham, they're all, uh, Worthing even, they're all far west and I think as I get older I'm going to need people around me far more unless I find a husband and then I can stay here and he can do all the maintenance while I go off to Australia for three months. Can't see that happening, can you? Um, but that is one of the reasons I want to go. There are many reasons. The weather up here, when it's windy, it's appalling. I wish I'd done a video for our outdoor movie last Saturday. They couldn't put the screen up. It was so windy. So if it's windy along the coast, which it often is, anyone living on the coast knows that, it's twice as bad up here. Don't ask me why, but people told me before I moved, local, sorry, I'm getting arm ache. They um, did warn me, they said um, this place when it's summer and it's hot is the best place in the world. I would agree with that, especially with my lovely ponds and big garden and gorgeous views. But when it's it, winter, it's one of the worst places in the world. Well, for those in England and those who know England well, well, especially this year, I think we've had about three weeks of what I would call summer and uh, the rest of the year has been like winter. I mean, mild, but not beach weather, bloody wind and rain. So, um, yeah, that's why, little Jack, come on, baby boy. I have to feed him now. He's so much better. Painkillers. What a miracle. So it's a bit dark in here, isn't it? That's because I put those lovely blinds up. So that's why I'm doing the house up bit by bit. Um, it's a long-term plan to move. Obviously, after Jack's gone, I hope he lasts another little while. Hope he gets to his 15th birthday. I think he will. Um, and uh, what else? Well, I want to finish doing up the house. Um, I want to find the right place in Hove, actually. And... Um, yeah, it's all about the timing, isn't it? It might be next year, might be the year after. It's sort of my five-year plan before I'm too old to move because, you know, who wants to move as you get older and have less energy? I don't. Um, and I'm allowed to change my mind. I might stay here forever. The lady next door to me is 88, so who knows? All I know is I need to be near my friends. I think as as you get older, you need it more. Um, to be discussed. Okay, I will see you. Next stop is Beckenham in Kent, which is near Catford, where my daddy grew up. So sort of South London, um, where I'm doing the rest of that shoot that you would have seen a couple of weeks ago. It also involves swimming in a lake. So thank God it's got a bit warmer. I'll film as much as I'm able to while I'm there. Look at that happy dog. That's so good for his little arse and legs. 
He dragged me down to the beach, so he's obviously feeling a lot better. Good boy, Jack. That lovely evening. Well, hello. I'm now in, well, I was going to say Beckenham, but it's actually Bromley. Listen, they're really close to each other, which people who live here call it London, but it's really Kent. South East London. It's all very confusing. I've had a ridiculous day. I went to the wrong hotel. Beckenham, ugh, the names were almost identical. I don't know this area at all. This has never happened to me ever in all the years I've been traveling. But I actually went to the wrong hotel and she was so rude to me. I said, if only I had got the emails out. I said, but I've got confirmation emails from you. And if she'd said, yes, let's have a look, I would have realized I was in the wrong hotel. But oh no, she was just bloody rude. And I walked out and then ended up in a cab going to Bromley and trying to get into the Premier Inn all the time having a booking here. What an idiot. Thank God for my agent. Mwah. Sophie, what would I do without you? I obviously clearly losing my mind, but I think I can be forgiven because they've both got identical names. Let me show you this gorgeous old hotel, which is partially closed because of the ping, ping, ping. They haven't got enough staff, but um, at least they've squeezed me in. And there are a few people staying here and there's sort of conferences going on. So it's not completely dead. It's a stunning day and there's nobody sitting out. Let me show you quickly. And inside, it's a rather lovely, grand old hotel. I love it, it's got character. Somebody answer the phone. And I think that's where I'm having breakfast in the morning. Okay, welcome to the day of filming. Now I can't tell you much about it because it's all a bit top secret at the moment, but I will show you the commercial when it's finished. It's a commercial for social media and it involves vinegar. I know, no cluesies whatsoever. Right, we're all having a pee break and um, I'll show you what goes on behind the scenes. Meanwhile, let's look at this beautiful area we're in. We're in Beckenham Park. I haven't seen the lake yet, which I will be swimming in much later on. At the moment, it's all about Styly and the clothies. One of the favorite dresses again. Right, let's eavesdrop. They're all discussing my next shot. Just take one, one more step down if you can, please. Oh. Perfect. And you want me to walk up so, this side? So you're walking up, you're basically dead on to me in here. And yep. just, just to kind of, not, not with the, leave the glasses, just a nod, to, a kind of knowing wink to the camera. Okay, running, can to, I smile a bit? Yeah, a little bit, a little bit as well, but sassy. All right, uh, ready when you are, Susie. Yeah. Sorry, I smiled. <laughs> I smiled. It's all got to be done again. It's getting very hot. It is getting super hot. With a few blips of rain. Ooh, while we're on a pee break, oh, they're coming back. Let me just show you my favorite handbag for the summer. It was, oh, I found it in an airport. Desi Gual, ages ago. Anyway, I'm sorry, the last piece of camera was a little bit stilted. I think it's because I'm acting all the time. And there's one of the director cameramen, because I'm constantly being told, fold your arms, don't fold your arms, smile, don't smile. Um, so, I sort of lost a bit of my authenticity. So it's back now, more scenes behind the scenes coming up. It's like the bag, it's great. I call it my beach bag because it's really roomy and it's plasticky, so I don't care if it gets wet. Um, these are very tatty. I'll see if I can get them replaced. Forget the shoot, look at these two. Are you shooting? And their aunties, a commercial for social media. All right. Don't ask. All right. <laughs>
But these, what are their names? That's Dolly and Wilma. Dolly and Wilma. Which one's Dolly? Dolly Black Dolly. one. Yeah. Oh, they absolutely thank you. Okay, now it's time for my moment of calm and meditation and the lake, what I'm going to swim in. I'll introduce you to the boys. There are many boys here, all looking after the lake. Okay, boys, you're on YouTube now. Hey! Let's not busy. So, what you? Why are there so many of you? All oh, right. So it's half. So there's usually three or four. And usually we have loads of swimmers. So there's and, and to be honest, in June, like August, summer months, there's a lot of swimmers. But not today. Oh, no, up, to, no, up to 100 swimmers at once. It's basically because of the weather. But it's warm. It hasn't been that recently, though. No, it's been freezing. Hang on. Yeah. Yeah, are we? It's what's, yeah, just, what's the direction? Okay, so Susie, all you're going to do is Happy look with the frame out into the yeah? distance. Yeah, and then so. whatever you would do in a meditation, just like that. Just looking off into the Chris distance. Spot. I will. Okay. Now the bit I have been dreading, and it's not very warm out. So it's supposed to be 23 degrees. It's not um, in that lake shortly. Right. And there's Sorry, my standing. I have a <laughs> what do you call them? Body double. No. A body double. A, but I've got a body double. <laughs> Look at Emma. We're going to get you to do the oh, one fine. big length Good. swim, and. The, <laughs> and then a big length swim, and then once you're on the back to shore, then we'll, we'll have the take. <laughs> back to shore. Back to shore. I'm so excited. Be good. Do you mind me wearing my sunglasses? Because I would normally. Because they're actually prescription, and I can see the shots. Are you guys ready? Everyone oh, ready? She's filming as well. This is the bit I've been so, dreading most. <laughs> cameras are rolling, Shay. Okay, so three, two, one, go for it. Perfect. Good. Then go for your swim. Go for it. I love the ducks. Amazing, amazing. I've never with ducks before. I'm in a hot tub that's not at all hot. We're all freezing our bare butts off. Um, but it's all good fun, apart from the midges. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm back home now. Um, actually, I was out yesterday, but I left my camera in my car. So um, it gave me a proper day off. Anyway, ooh. Right, I have literally, I edit usually early on a Sunday morning. It's not early at all now. It's quarter past nine. I've done most of the editing. But this is just so that you appreciate <laughs> why I need some time off occasionally. I completely forgot to do a camera piece saying bye-bye. So I've thrown my nightie off, thrown a nice shirt on, and stuck some glasses on to hide my tired eyes. So I just wanted to say, hope you enjoyed um, glimpses into a busy working week for me. Um, what else is there to tell you? I've been bitten to death by mosquitoes. Now I thought it was in that hot tub, but it didn't itch till last night. So I think, because I've got a little stream that's got stagnant at the bottom, not the lovely pond, um, I was sitting having a drink with my Jack after being out all day and um, I think I got bitten to death there. Mozzie bites. Ugh. Anyway, I promised to show you the shoes, the sandals rather, that I got in return for dropping off a load of clothes. Why I didn't film in that shop, I have no idea. I think it was because I was parked illegally and needed to get out quickly. But I promise I'll film in there next time. It's a great second-hand shop. Um, everyone in Hove and Brighton will know it. It's called Eternal. 
Um, so look what I got. Brand new. My friend and I think, thought yesterday, that they were brand new. And they're fit flops. My favourite comfy shoes. So didn't I do well? Is that a lovely gold? And yesterday I found a little gold top pre-loved. Um, for 22 quid from Whistles. So I'll show you that next week. Okay, <clears throat> maybe we'll do a whole gold theme. Um, anyway, got to rush. I've edited the video, but now I have to add this on the end. And all that remains is to say, I hope you're all right. Oh, this shirt, in case you're wondering, sorry, because it's reminding me of my lovely friends in Australia. Um, I got this the last time I was, no, it wasn't the time before, little boutique in Sydney that had disappeared the last time I went, which was 2020. So confusing, isn't it? Anyway, big love to all of those who are still in lockdown, um, where our figures are rising all the time, but fortunately, very, very few are dying or getting ill, um, unless they would otherwise getting seriously ill. Loads of people have had it who I've talked to and it's pretty grim. Nasty, nasty flu, at least they say. Um, but hopefully we'll be out of this one day soon. So all that remains for me to say is thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for following me. Thank you so much for pressing the subscribe button, which I know you do. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for passing me on to your friends. Very, very grateful. Big love. Please take care. And, oh, yes, don't worry. I'm not moving soon. Oh, God, I'm going to get thousands of comments, aren't I? About, oh, you can't move. Um, I hope you understand what's behind my five-year plan. I'm getting on. We're all getting on. So I have to think of the future. I'm being very sensible. It will happen at the right time. Things always do, don't they? Okay, see you next week. Have a wonderful week. Lots of love. And love from... Little Jack. He's just going to sleep. Everywhere I go, he's going to sleep. He's tired. Bye.